Welcome to Life Devotions. I'm Robert Mosbach. You know, the Psalms are full of praise. Well, we can also find it in Chronicles in other parts of the scripture in Samuel where you see David praising God. He praised God in the good times. He praised God in the challenging times. And in the times when he felt he couldn't bear the challenges of life, he praised him even more because he knew that praise is what opened the way for his success. It opened the way for his prosperity. In Psalm 71, he says, everyone stands amazed at my success and it's because God himself is my protector. Friends, when we realize that God is our protector, our provider, our helper, we begin to praise him. You begin to get excited at what the Lord will do for you. And I love David because through all that he went through in his life, all the tragedy, all the trials, all the successes, he never gave up praising. He never gave up giving God the honor and the glory for all that he was going through in his life. And I want to encourage you today, take a moment and begin to praise God. Begin to praise God for the answers you need right now. Begin to praise God that He is meeting those needs that you have, that He is restoring health to your body today, that He's restoring wealth to your life today. Begin to praise Him. This is the time of God's favor for you. This is your turning point. Do not hesitate to believe it because for this purpose I've come to you today to encourage you and to say, Praise the Lord with all your heart. Like David said in Psalm 103, I will bless the Lord with all my soul and I will bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not his benefits who forgiveth all my iniquities and healeth all my diseases and delivers my life from a horrible pit of destruction. You see, the Lord, he is able to restore health to you to restore wealth to you and to deliver you. So begin to praise him like David did. He says in Psalm 34, this poor man cried out to the Lord and he heard him and delivered him from all of his fears. You know, often what causes us to stay in the wrong place is because of the fear. That fear is such a reality to us. We feel it, we think it, we believe it, we see everything through those imaginations and those angst. But I want to encourage you today. Replace your fear with faith in God. How do you replace it? Begin to praise God. Begin to praise Him. Say to yourself, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be upon my lips. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. You see, you can take the word of God and let it become praise in your mouth and in your heart. Even the scripture says the word is not far from us. It is near us. It is in our heart and in our mouth. Take the word like a two-edged sword and cut through the challenges you're faced with by beginning to praise God with his word. I tell you, God sent his word to us like the rain that came from heaven and like the snow that waters the earth and causes the seed that is sown in it to bud and bring forth a great harvest. There is great desires and dreams in your heart today. And if you just allow praise, praising God and his word to fill your heart and mouth, you will see such an increase because God's word will never return void. It will always accomplish that for which it was sent. So take the word of God. Let it come out of your mouth. Fill your heart with it. Begin to praise God and you will see today. Today is your day. Come on. Today, everything turns. Today, your answers come rushing themselves to you. Today, your success is overtaking you. Today, your healing is breaking through. Now, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus, your son, that today is the turning point and the victory, I pray. Amen. Have a good day.